Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is my first Form 5K SSM video. I'll be doing one of the subtopic in Chapter 2, which is plants, okay, which is under photosynthesis, which I believe a lot of students, when they when they heard about plants in biology, they would think that, oh my god, plant is so broad, so hard to understand. Don't worry, okay, I'll make it as simple as possible so that you can understand plant very well as well, okay? So let's get started with our class today. So this is 2.4. Uh, if you don't have it, it's okay. You can just take out your textbook or whatever, a paper to write it down. Also can. Okay, now, when it comes to photosynthesis, right, the main thing that is different between your batch, which is KSSM and KBSM video, is a little bit different. Because if you notice that I actually upload the other video for a KBSM student, that video is not suitable for you because in new syllabus, they added a few things which your answer will be slightly different from the older batch. So don't prefer, don't refer to the old video that I posted for the KBSM student. Okay, you guys are the KSSM student and you guys are kind of like advanced version of biology, okay? Now, when we talk about photosynthesis, like what do we have to know? We have to know about the diagram, the organelles that they carry out photosynthesis. The organelle that carry out photosynthesis obviously is a Chloroplast. So this is a chloroplast. Obviously, chloroplast has double membrane that we learned in Form 4, Chapter 2. If you don't know, never mind. You can also refer to my Form 4, Chapter 2 video for organelles part if you don't know. So they are double membrane. It's not important in this part, but the most important part, you have to know what is inside the chloroplast. So first of all, can you see there is a, like, a stack of things? This stack of things, right, we call it as granum. Okay, what is a stack of things? This entire thing here, yeah. This entire thing here is the stack of thing that I'm trying to say. It's like a building, okay? Imagine this is like a KLCC tower or Manara KL or whatever it is, okay? It's like a tower, okay? Or apartment. This entire thing, we call it as granum or grana. Granum and grana doesn't really matter, like granum or grana. So this entire building, right? We have different levels. Imagine KLCC got different levels, right? This one also got like stack of coins, okay? So this stack of coins, we call it as talakoid. So remember, the entire building, we call it as granum. If it's only the level, we call it as talakoid. Talakoid. What is the difference between the granum and talakoid? Actually, they contain of the same thing. Which, what do they have? They have um, chlorophyll. Okay, chlorophyll is the most important one because they will carry out photosynthesis by trapping sunlight by using chlorophyll, right? And as you can see, it has enzyme. So the enzyme is for them to carry out photosynthesis as well. So when you carry out photosynthesis, it requires an optimum temperature because when the temperature is more than the optimum level, the enzyme will denature. So the rate of photosynthesis will also reduce. Okay. The other one, there's a word called light reaction. Even though you guys don't learn light reaction anymore, you guys will use a word called light dependent reaction. It's the same meaning, light reaction and light dependent reaction is the same thing but for new syllabus we don't use light reaction already we use light dependent reaction okay so this is the granum and talakoid next one what is the important thing in this diagram is the space can you see the space over here we call it as stroma okay the space we call it as stroma so in the stroma it also contains of a lot of enzyme as i mentioned they need enzyme to carry out photosynthesis right the other one that you have to take note is what is fact of dark reaction dark reaction in your syllabus we call it as like independent reaction. Like independent reaction is the same thing as dark reaction. But your teacher will teach you like independent. But sometimes I will refer as dark reaction because it's easier for you to visualize. Uh, it's easier to listen as well uh, in a way to say that. And then, I uh, can you see, right? You have two buildings. Imagine you have two buildings. You must have a connection point. This connection point we call it as lamella. Lamella. It's not the fish lamella, okay? This is the connection point. It's called the lamella. Lamella. It's like chaos, you see, you know, you have this in the middle, the bridge king. The, the bridge kind of thing, right, is actually the lamella. This is the lamella we are talking about in the chloroplast. Okay, so now that we, we have learned the labeling. So now, the first thing they have to know what light reaction, which is light dependent reaction, takes place at the talakoid. The dark reaction, which is the indi light independent reaction, it takes place at the stroma. So this is the important thing about the diagram. Okay, now since we have two reactions, light dependent, and light independent. What does light dependent and light independent means? We just make it into a simple English. Light dependent. Do you need sunlight? Obviously, you need sunlight. Okay, it requires sunlight. It's called light dependent. This one require light. Make sense, right? 
light independent. Do you need sunlight? Obviously, you don't need sunlight, okay? Don't need sunlight means what? It takes place during the daytime or nighttime. Wait, let me write. Do not need light. Okay. Obviously, they have a light reaction. It takes place during the daytime, right? Because only the daytime has light. What about the light independent reaction? Do not need light means what? It means when there is sunlight or when there is no sunlight, it can also take place. So no matter whether during the daytime or nighttime, right? Got sunlight, no sunlight, they can also carry out the light independent reaction. So this one doesn't really matter. Daytime also can, nighttime also can. Got light, no light, doesn't matter because it's a light independent. They don't need sunlight. Okay, now we're going to start from light-dependent reaction first. Why? Because if the coral plant has no um, light-dependent reaction, the plants will never carry out light-independent reaction. Basically, when there is light, they will be dark reaction. So first of all, what does it say? It says it occurs at the talakoids. What is a talakoids? It's a building kind of thing, right? as I mentioned, it's like a building. The level, the level is called the talakoid. Okay, photosynthetic pigment. Okay, we always talk about photosynthetic pigment. Why? Because we say that in order to carry out photosynthesis, what do you need? Okay, you need sunlight to trap by the chlorophyll, right? Sunlight, they were trapped by the chlorophyll. So chlorophyll is one of the photosynthetic pigment. Not only chlorophyll is a photosynthetic pigment, it can be other pigment as well. But, the, but it, at this level, we will only say that chlorophyll. Lah. Okay, so they were trapped sunlight and they will excite molecule to a higher level. Excite molecule, it means that they want to release the molecule, okay, release molecule of chlorophyll into a higher energy level. Why do they need this energy? The energy is to use to form a thing called ATP, which I believe you guys know what is ATP, right? If you guys still don't know, you have to refer to Form 4, Chapter 2 again, which ATP is a form of energy. Lah. So now that you know, when they trap sunlight, they will excite molecule into a higher energy level. So the energy can form into ATP and they will release electron. Electron is the free electron. But you cannot allow the electron to move freely in the chloroplast because it's, it's quite useless. Lah. So you have to make sure that you use the electrons. So the electron go through a, a series of electron carriers and then all of these electrons, right, it will be accepted by a thing called what? Last electron acceptor. We call it as NADP plus. NADP plus. Okay, we will learn what is NADP plus in long term later. But right now, just remember as NADP plus. Okay, so for number five to number 12, right? If I read through, then a bit no point. Okay, let me teach you an easier way for you to understand photosynthesis. Okay, let me flip to my MP page. Okay, in order to carry out photosynthesis, right? In short, we need to have two reactions. That's what we learn, right? What are the two reactions that we have? The first one, we have what? Like dependent reaction, right? The other one, we have like independent reaction. In these two reactions, it has two processes. The first process of like dependent reaction, we call it as photolysis of water. Okay, it's called photolysis of water. Like independent reaction, we call it as reduction or fixation of carbon dioxide. So actually for light independent, which is the dark reaction, right? It has another name. The other name we call it as Kelvin cycle, which I don't know whether your teacher will teach you about this Kelvin cycle or not, but it has another name called Kelvin cycle. A Kelvin cycle and dark reaction, which is light independent reaction, is the same thing. Now, we're going to start from the photolysis of water first. Why? Because as I mentioned, right, in order for you to have a light independent, you must have light dependent first. What does photolysis of water mean? Lysis means breakdown. Okay, lysis means breakdown. I have mentioned a thousand times in my video, okay? Photo means what? Photo means light. So you have to break down water with the presence of light. In Form 4, Chapter 4, we learn a word called what? Hydrolysis of water. Hydrolysis, sorry. We learn a word called hydrolysis, right? We cannot say hydrolysis of water. You know why? Because you cannot break down water with water. How does it make sense when you break down water with water? Water and water itself, it has a bond. It's called as a cohesion bond. So they cannot break down. 
So the one that breaks down, it must be light. It's called photolysis of water. Now we're going to start from this chemical formula, which is water. What is the chemical formula for water? As we all know, water is what? H2O. You all don't know this one, huh? I think your chemistry teacher want to cry already, lah, okay? H2O. Okay, if you want to break down, of course, what do you need? You need like, right? Like, for example, right? Like, right? So, like is trapped by who? Chlorophyll, right? Chlorophyll is the one that traps light, right? Makes sense, right? Trapped by the chlorophyll, right? Now, when you break down H2O, it will form into two ions, which I believe you learn in chemistry also. What are the two ions that you form? You will form OH minus and H plus. OH minus and H plus. What is OH minus? Same as your chemical hydroxide ion, no? and then H plus is hydrogen, uh, the hydrogen ion, okay? So we have H plus and OH minus. Um, next one, okay? Why do I write OH minus first? Why do I, why H plus is not in front? Because of H plus, it will go to the dark reaction. So we're going to continue with OH minus. Because OH minus, right, it has a charge. I don't want them to have charge. What happens? I need to lose or receive electron based on your chemistry level, right? You should lose electron. When you have a negative charge, you will lose electron. Then it becomes no charge. In your slivers, straight away, they will form into the product. What are the products in light reaction? They will produce water and oxygen. Oxygen itself, it is the main product, okay? Oxygen is the main product of light-dependent reaction. Main, main, main product in light dependent reaction. Okay, so this is the main product. Now we're gonna continue with H plus. Okay, by by logical way to say that uh, since OH minus loses electron, H plus should receive electron, right? I mean it doesn't make sense, right? Make sense, right? But in your syllabus, new syllabus are uh, no, they don't receive electron. They will combine with the thing. Now, just now we learned about the last electron acceptor, right? The acceptor we call it. NADP plus. So it has a reaction. Let me use other color. It has a reaction with this thing called NADP plus. Okay. It has this thing called NADP plus. Okay. When it has a reaction, why the plus and plus can form together? I think this is the most frequent asked question by my student as well. So this NADP plus, right? Because this thing is a hydrogen carrier, just because H plus is a hydrogen ion, right? So this is a hydrogen carrier. That's why they can carry the H plus. So it's totally different than what you have learned in the previously, which H, uh, which is plus, they will receive electron minus, they will lose electron, right? This one in biology, they will react with these things called NADP plus. What do they form? They will form a thing called NADPH, okay? They will form a thing called NADPH. This NADPH, it will be brought to dark reaction. Okay, it will be brought to dark reaction. So if there is no light reaction, your light independent reaction, right? It will not form any NADP plus. No, nothing gonna happen. Okay, so you must have light first. So what happens in light independent? What is the process here called reduction or we call it fixation of carbon dioxide? It means it must involve of what? Involve of carbon dioxide. So what happened here is there was a thing called what? Five carbon organic compound. What is organic compound? In Form 4, Chapter 4, we actually learn about organic compound, which is carbohydrate, protein, nucleic acid, fatty, or lipid. Those are known as organic compound. So these are organic compounds, uh, which is glucose. They will form glucose later because it's a plant. So these five organic compounds, they will combine with carbon dioxide to form into six carbon organic compound. Six carbon organic compound. So we always mention, right? I don't know whether the teacher mentioned this to you or not. Okay. We always mention carbohydrate, glucose as what? Hexagon shape. Why? Because it's a six carbon compound. Each of the corner they can bind with C. So that's why it's always in a hexagon shape for glucose. For all of the carbohydrates, it's a hexagon shape, which is six corner in a way to say that. Now that you know why it must be six corner, right? Because it's six carbon organic compound. This is glucose. Okay, when they form this six carbon organic compound, they have to form into glucose. Shape, um, when they form, 
they will form into glucose. The product is glucose and water, but when you want to form glucose and water, it requires two things from the light reaction. So the first one, just now we mentioned, right? What happens in light reaction, the light, de the, the light dependent reaction, the, the first few sentences we learned, right? They will excite molecule in chlorophyll into a higher energy. What is the purpose of energy? The energy is to produce ATP, right? This is the first thing produced by the light reaction. The other one is what? The NADPH. NADPH also produced from the light reaction. So when you want to form into glucose, right? What do you need? You need this one, NADPH and ATP from light reaction in order for you to form into glucose. So I always just now, I keep on saying, right? When there is no light reaction, there will be no dark reaction because these two products, this NADPH and ATP, they are actually from the light reaction. So remember, no light reaction, no dark reaction, okay? When you have light reaction, the dark reaction can only take place. Okay, I can okay. Next one, we have what? Glucose. So glucose, we always mention like plant is a starch. So they will condense into starch. Like this one very simple. They will condense into starch. Condense. Condense. Into starch. Condensing condensation. And they will form into a polysaccharides. Glucose is a monosaccharide, starch is a polysaccharide. And then they will store in stroma of chloroplast. So this is actually the light and dark reaction. We call it as light dependent and light independent reaction, which is a new thing to you all because in the old syllabus, they don't learn about NADP plus, they don't learn about the NADPH as well and the six carbon organic compound. No, they don't learn that. So you guys only learn this. So I think this one here is so much easier for you to understand compared to the paragraph that you have seen here. Okay, this one. Uh, this is so much harder for you to understand. The one that I explained just now basically is number five to 12. In the diagram, you can explain everything. So remember, to study light and dark dependent reaction, it's not very hard. It's very simple. If you know the idea of the light and dark reaction, eventually you can do all type of questions. So it's very important for you to understand the graph that I draw just now. Okay, that is the easiest way for you to understand light and dark, light and dark reaction. Okay, so it's very easy to understand. Now let me explain the full equation of photosynthesis, which I believe that in Form 3, right, when you learn about photosynthesis, you will see is that H2O plus but CO2, it will form into glucose and oxygen, right? But in this equation, based on your textbook, uh, your new textbook, right? It will form a thing called what? Water. Why? Because if you remember just now, we learned about the equation, the light and dark both also form water molecules. So they have water molecule over here as well. Where does the water come from? Now, let me remind you again. Water is from the light-dependent reaction, okay? This is from the... I write light and dark, uh, you can understand, right? Light and dark, okay? Light, okay? It's called photolysis of water. Water, right? Uh, light reaction, uh, what do they produce? They produce oxygen. This is also light, okay? Because they produce oxygen, light, right? Then carbon dioxide is from which reaction? Obviously, it's the dark reaction, which is light independent. Why? Right? Because the process says what? Reduction of carbon dioxide. Fixation of what? Carbon dioxide. What do they form? They will form glucose. So this entire equation, they are from the, the light and dark reaction. It's a combination of both equations. And there's a water form, which is from both parties, from light and dark reaction from both parties. So this is how you form a full equation. If you want to balance, you can balance. If you don't want to balance, it doesn't matter because it's biology, not chemistry. You can use your chemistry way to balance the equation. It's your choice, okay? The other one, what can you see here? NADP plus has a full name. It's called nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate, and ADP plus. Okay, what does it say? It is a coenzyme. A lot of people don't understand coenzyme, even though they learn it in form four. They don't know what is the coenzyme. Coenzyme is like a driver, co-driver. Enzyme is a driver. Coenzyme is like a co-driver, like the co the the, the co-driver. Okay, means what? If you have coenzyme, you need to have enzyme in order to carry out the reaction. If you have coenzyme, but you have no enzyme, the reaction cannot take place. Like for example, if you want to have a fried chicken, 
Okay, what do you need? You need an oil, oil or air fryer and a chicken, right? If you have chicken without the air fryer or the oil, can you make it into a fried chicken? Cannot. Same thing. In order for you to have a reaction by using coenzyme, you must have enzyme first. Okay, so it's like a helper to increase the reaction for enzyme. So coenzyme is like a helper for enzyme, okay? And as I mentioned, it is a what? Hydrogen carrier. They will carry the hydrogen. That's why it says NADP plus, they can combine with H plus because it's very special. They can combine together. So NADP plus, as you can see here, is what? It's a oxidizing agent. What is the oxidizing agent? Oxidizing agent is the one that they are able to accept electron. Because we learn right, NADP plus, they can accept electron with together with the H plus, right? Makes sense, right? And then NADPH is a reducing agent. What is a reducing agent? It's the one that loses electron. So these are the like dependent reaction and like independent reaction. So I think that it's not very hard for you to understand. Uh, like dependent and like independent. So we are done for today for this class. Any question you can comment below or any question you can find me at Instagram. Hopefully that I make plants easier for you to understand instead of uh, reading textbook only. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. See you guys next time. Bye.